We're solving problem 16 from the MC 12A from 2023. Consider the set of complex numbers Z satisfying this equation right here. The maximum value of the imaginary part of Z can be written in the form square root M over N, where M and N are relatively prime positive integers. What is M plus N? Since we want imaginary numbers and we want it in an imaginary form of Z, we can make the substitution of z equals a plus bi. And this is basically a complex number here, an expression form one. Now we can substitute this into there. So this is the absolute value of one plus a plus bi plus a plus bi squared is four. Now, what we can do is we can rewrite this equation by squaring a plus bi and then factoring it in a way that makes us easy to compute the answer to this problem. So this is going to be the absolute value of 1 plus a plus a squared minus b squared. And then this is going to be plus i times b plus 2ab is 4. Now, we don't want this absolute value here. So if we squared both the sides, we could get rid of it. And if we do that, it gets rid of the i, gets rid of these two, and this becomes 16, and both of these are squared now. But this equation is not the same because we can factor it into something that's a lot easier to compute. This is b squared times 1 plus 4a plus 4a squared. And this breaks it down into two good chunks that we can solve. So what do we do now? Well, we have to use a bit of substitution to make this thing, things easier. So we let p equals b squared, and we let, um, we let say, <coughs> q equals 1 plus a plus a squared. Now we have that substitution. We can put it in here. <coughs> so our first thing, first term for this expression is going to be, uh, this is a q. So q minus p squared plus p times, well, we could express this as one q or four q's and then subtract a three, which is equal to 16. Now we have it in a much easier form for us to compute and we will eventually find the answer with this. Now, when we have this form, we can multiply everything out into uh, one big equation. This is equal to p squared minus 2pq plus q squared uh, plus 4pq minus 3 plus 3p equals 16. Now, if we subtract 16 from both sides and factor it into what we can like simplify, this is p squared plus 2q minus 3 times p plus q squared minus 16 and equals 0. And the reason why we did that is so that we could make this into one big squared equation because we have a square here, another square here, and this is like uh, what we have in the middle. And this checks out because you can make this into a quadratic and this is in fact a quadratic. So you use the quadratic formula on it. So we get that P equals negative two Q uh, minus three plus or minus the square root of negative 12 Q plus 73 over two. Now, if we want to find p's maximum, we have to find q's minimum. And well, what is q? Well, if we know that 
we can set up an equation for Q. We set up an equation for Q here. We see that its minimum is 3 fourths because it has to be greater than or equal to 3 fourths. So if we substitute Q is equal to 3 fourths in here, we can get our answer of P, which is 19 fourths. But we know that P, we made P equal to B squared, so we have to square root it to get our answer of B. So our answer of B is 19, square root 19 over 2, and we want the sum of these two numbers. So 19 plus 2 is 21, our answer.